We are blocking what Allah did not block. Remember this. We are stopping what Allah did not stop. We are disallowing what Allah allowed. So how can you be happy? How are you going to have a happy home? Towards a happy home, you want to walk in that direction. Don't disallow what Allah allowed. If Allah allowed it, learn as a good Muslim. Like I started by saying your happiness is by developing your relationship with Allah. Wasn't that my first point? So if Allah said, allow this, you're saying, no, I won't. Well, then forget about your happiness. It's not going to come. If Allah says, look at this point and this point, you know, I can tell you something about marriage. You look at deen and khuluq. And the hadith says, if the deen is good, if the akhlaq are, are, are great and so on, and, the, and both of them would like to marry one another. If you're not going to let that happen, the same hadith says there will be fitna and fasad on earth. People don't want to hear that hadith. They don't even want to hear it. Sometimes religious people don't want to hear it. But the world out there is filled with adultery, fornication, whatever else it, it is. If you're trying to get into marriage, you need to know you're going to need to help people get out of whatever you may consider unacceptable. And to do that, you have to go back to Allah. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. A lot of the people are suffering. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands if you relate to what I've just said, because I think we won't be able to count the hands. My brothers and sisters, it's a reality. Make things easy. Make halal easy. Allah will give you happiness. If you make halal easy, you've made haram difficult. And if you made halal difficult, you've made haram easy. Don't let your pride and your ego drive you beyond what Allah has told you. Not at all. It shouldn't be there. And these words, people don't like to hear them. But if you want happiness in the family, and that's the topic today, you have to start off by understanding the children I have, the family I have, I'm just a member. Do you know something that makes me amazed? If Allah wanted, He could have created us singular. So you have no family. It's just me. If He wanted, He could have done that. We could have grown from the ground like the trees. No, it's just me. I'm alone, singular. But Allah wanted us to feel better, to have a type of a life where we are empowered by those around us. They support us so we live and we can actually have interactions that are beneficial for us. Every interaction will either take you towards Jannah, which is paradise or towards hellfire, which is Jahannam. Every interaction is one of the two. Every time something happens, ask yourself, if the Prophet ﷺ was here, what would he have told me? And if does Allah allow this or does he not allow it? How can I actually earn a reward and how can I protect myself from the opposite.